Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters, back yet again with another message. I thank God for this opportunity to share with you. Brothers and sisters, this message is going to be a hardcore message, okay? So I want you to know that from Jump Street, if you would, okay? It's going to be hard. It's going to be one of those tough messages. It's going to be those one of those tough love messages, if you would, okay? So with that being said, I want to talk about, okay, people who really and generally need help in life, Versus people who are living off the system, who are enslaved to handouts, people who are, whether it be on, they're on Section 8, whether they be on welfare, whether they be on uh, YouTube begging for money. I, I'm about sick of it. And I believe that people of God, okay, who are trying to do the right thing for their families, trying to make a living, trying to work hard, and doors of opportunities are just not opened up. That's totally different. But if you have somebody out there that's online making videos for hours on edge, not looking for a job, diligently like they need to but you got time to post videos and you got time to ask for gofundmes and help me and this that and the third okay something wrong with that picture i'm listen the word of god in psalms talks about god never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread what does that mean listen to it he's never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. So we should not be in a position where, okay, we as children of God are supposed to be destitute, down and out. Uh, I'm not talking about it's a situation where you had a hard time. Everybody has hard times. I've lost jobs, things of that nature. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people who make a living scamming people, Begging for money on YouTube, trying to get a check. Listen, all it, listen, what I do is a labor of love. I told you in videos past that I would never ask you for a dime. And I mean that, YouTube. I, I really, really mean that. Okay? Why? Because you can't pimp the word of God. You can't put a price on the word of God. You can't put a price on touching somebody and making a difference spiritually. That's your reasonable service. That's what you need to be doing. That's you need to that's the mandate. You need to spread the good news. You shouldn't be asking for money, huh? How how much does it cost? Internet. Okay? People are on YouTube. I'm telling you the truth. I want you to look out for the skim scams and flint flams, whether you be in a physical church or whether you be, you know, on a silver screen, if you would. Making YouTube videos. People are literally scamming people. Why? Because a lot of people know that, and I've said it in a pre previous video, you can't rely on the government. You can't rely on YouTube paying your bills. You got to go out there and get a job. You got to get a nine to five. And what happens is a lot of these people, I'm going to break it down quick. A lot of these people out there are relying on YouTube as if, you know, it's government assistance. Get a job, go out there, grind. Okay. And get yourself to work. Because if they pull the plug, like I said in previous videos, and stop, all, they already, you know, messing with the AdSense or whatever whatever else. And people in YouTube that was Bonnie's Glamorous or Fancy Houses. What happens when all of that stops? What happens if the owner or CEO of YouTube decides, you know what, we're not having no YouTube ever, ever again. What are you going to do? If your sole income is YouTube and relying on YouTube videos, let me tell you something. There was a, there was a, something my daughter showed me. There was a couple that, you know, she basically found out that her, uh, you've probably seen it. They, they're a very, uh, popular couple. They do vlogs and things, but the husband, you know, got caught cheating on the wife and, um, with multiple women, multiple times. But yet, just because they have a quote-unquote YouTube following and a brand, 
she she says originally oh I, I i'm gonna make it hard for him to come back and you know basically she's she she seemed like she was ready to call it quits quote unquote quote unquote and i'm not big on divorce and things of that nature okay i'm just saying okay if you now they back together because of the youtube brand because listen when you put money okay and you put Listen, you'd be surprised how many people are literally selling their souls on YouTube for a check. There's people out there that don't even have to be signed to a record company. There's people on YouTube. Hello, if that's you, I'm talking to you. That would, uh, that would basically sell their soul. Okay? To get views and popularity and subscribers and money. On YouTube, that just goes to show, and and on a spiritual level too, people that are, are, are preaching the word and ministering, a lot of them do the same thing. What am I saying, brothers and sisters? I'm saying this: spiritually and naturally, if you rely on the world for your check, for your well-being, and for your refuge. Okay, and you don't have a plan B. You don't have a sound plan B spiritually and naturally. You, 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 you messed up. Think about all of those people in Houston. Huh? Think about all of those people in Puerto Rico. Huh? Think about all of those people in Texas everywhere that lost their houses, that lost their livelihood and things of that nature. Listen, they probably didn't see this coming. Not in this magnitude. No, they didn't see this coming. Now they're running scared. And some of them, some of them, Lord, Lord, help them. You know, Lord, help all of them. But sometimes, and especially the people in New Orleans, too. That's a, that's a sad situation. I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, insensitive. Because it can happen anywhere. It can happen in my state. It can happen in your state. All I'm saying is this. God, on a spiritual level, God is not playing. And if God is, is, will shut it down, and if God is trying to teach you a lesson, and if, if that means that God has to take and strip away what you hold dear to your heart, materialistic things, people, YouTube, idols. A lot of people are, are, are uh, having YouTube as an idol. They're bread and butter. Huh? I'm telling y'all the truth, man. If you're a YouTuber... Hear me very clearly, because I had to school this this, this brother. I, sh I sure did, because he's over here begging. He he makes like a, a lot of videos. He makes tons of videos. He makes like I, I would say honestly probably four videos a day, okay. Four videos a day, and he's you know unfortunately begging people for money right now. Real talk. His wife is going to school, and he's he's got kids, daughters, all daughters, mind you. And they're like one, five, and three, I think. And he's at home. Okay? He was an ex-convict. Come on, let me just put it out there. And I'm not saying ex-convicts are all bad or all, you know, child molesters. I'm just saying. Okay? If you got three girls that's that age and a man is watching them all day and posting YouTube videos... You need to be switching. She she don't need to be in school right now. The wife needs to be watching them kids because I know I know daycare is high. I, I get that, and I can only imagine with three kids that that's just like two mortgages. I get that, but guess what? He needs to get off the YouTube videos, huh? And I said that politely. I guess I did. See see see, brothers and sisters, there's too many people babying people. And that's the crutch. That's the problem. That's the problem with the Christian community a lot of times. Huh? I told you this is going to be a hard message. I, I'm all for helping people. Okay? I've given money to help family members, things of that nature. And listen, I'm all for helping people. I get it. Okay? And I do it in love. I get that. Because sometimes you need some help. Huh? But when it comes to a point where you're hiding behind YouTube as a quote unquote paycheck when you need to be grinding and out there knocking on doors like old school, like how they used to apply for jobs old school or oh, well, everything's on the computer. Well, guess what? You need to flip the script and bring it on back. 
Because all those hours you posting up videos, you need to be, guess what? Application after application and, and, and getting literally knocking on door. Do it old school. Get your feet. When your feet is tired. Huh? When your feet is tired of walking up and, 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 and down the street and you walking on uh, heels, your skin, then you put in some work for your family. Huh? I'm Listen, this is a raw message. Because I know what it means to work hard, huh? And I know what it means to wake up four o'clock in the morning and grind for my daughters when I was a single mother. Yes, indeed. I'm, I'm all for hard work. But if you got brothers out there that got bodies, six packs, muscles bulging out, healthy, got the gift of gab, because you got because you make it four videos a day, you got the gift of gab. So you mean to tell me you're not going to use those skills and get yourself out of that predicament no you you, you want a handout you want to go fund me you want to listen if they listen all they need to do is pull a plug off of go fund means and all of these other you know what i'm saying the things people are listen the word of god's talking i'm gonna bring it on back and i hope this doesn't go over 15 minutes the word of god says he never seen the righteous forsaken that means that god got you he never seen the righteous forsaken he this is his children he gonna make sure he gonna make a way nor his seed begging bread now, if you need help in different organizations, I'm all for that. Because America is a very wasteful country. They waste a lot of food. They don't listen. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for that. Because there's a lot of resources that can be used and is used in a good way to help people put food on the table and things of that nature. I'm all for that. But when it comes to a point where you are a man, I'm talking specifically to the men out there. This message is more catered to the men because if you got kids, you the head of the household, not the woman. The woman is not supposed to be scripping, scraping and huh, going to school right now. Maybe you need to put that on hold and switch roles. Man up, men. Come on. My husband works really, really hard and I thank God for him. He don't play games because he has a wife that, that, that I'm about business too. You got to be about your business family. I think about women on Section 8. I think about women on welfare. They about to cut stuff off, which I'm going to do. And you know how they how they doing um, to, to a lot of homeless people. They rounded them up in FEMA camps. A lot of them, allegedly. I put that disclaimer there. Allegedly. And mask murdering these people. Allegedly. And they go for the homeless first. Then they're going to wake their way up to the bottom of the barrel all the way up. So if y'all listen, again, this is a hardcore message. If you out there on YouTube, on welfare or wherever else looking for the government or the man to help you and your family out, you got another thing coming. Bless the true and living God.